This is Alan Farley from FX Empire. Delta Airlines reports earnings in Wednesday's pre-market. Taking a look back, uh, the stock was engaged in an uptrend between 2015 and 2020, but it really didn't make that much progress. It moved from about the $50 level in January 2015, topping out around 63 or 64 in uh, June of 2019. Now, it tested that high in January 2020 and plunged to about a seven-year low during the pandemic decline. As you can see, the subsequent uh, uptick uh, carved a sort of a Elliott 5 wave. We got a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right up to almost a 786 retracement here and this big uh, congestion area from 2018 to 2020. Let's move in a little bit closer to take a look at price action since this top, which was all the way back here in March of uh, last year, so over a year ago, 13 months ago, we have a series of lower highs and lower lows all the way through uh, into March 2022, and that's not good. Uh, we've drawn this sort of sloppy looking trend line right here, but more importantly, take a look at the 200 day moving average. Here we have the stock breaking the 200 day moving average in July of 2021. We have a rally above it in October that failed, a rally above in November that failed. A rally in January that failed, another rally in February that, tra uh, that failed. And right here, you could see that this bounce off of the Ukraine sell-off low came right back up to the 200-day moving average, spent six sessions there, and we've gapped down and gapped through the 50-day moving average. And so we have this unfilled gap here at 33 to deal with now. Now, this is the chart of a very active downtrend. Now, perhaps if we go back to the... A uh, longer one, we get, this may be a tradable low because we do have a uh, buy cycle, but uh, you know there's an awful lot of room between the low 40s over here and the upper 20s over here, and we could spend a very long time in this price range here. Uh, perhaps, who knows, perhaps we're a good part of 2022. Now, uh, the big problem, of course, is uh, fuel costs and uh, a weakened sentiment as a result of the Ukraine war. We're not sure that's all going to play out, but I can tell you from personal experience that airfares are rising very, very quickly and forcing many people to change their travel plans, even though that hasn't really made it into the financial press yet.